Hi, I'm Wally. And I'm Dave. And welcome back to another episode of Riffing Right with Dave, Dave and Wally, Wally. Yep. in our series on PVC. Correct. So now we have adhesives, and we not just have one adhesive, we have how many? We have a bunch, but you have a big word for this. A plethora yes. of, of adhesives. If I'm a contractor, and I'm looking at this video, and, and I'm looking at, well, which one do I use, and where do I use it, and why would I use it? We've got quick spray, we've got low-rise foam, we've mm -hmm. got quick lay. So what are the kind of the main differences, and where and when and why would you use one of these over the other? Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Quick spray. Now, quick spray. quick spray, this quick spray is PVC only. Okay. Right? We have one for TPO. Can we not can we choose? We cannot it? intermix. No. Nope. Okay. PVC quick what spray. What does PVC stand for? Polyvinyl chloride. Say that fast. No. Yeah. <laughs> PVC quick spray is seven and a half squares coverage. So we also have a TPO quick spray. Correct. Which the coverage rate is a little more. Ten. Ten square. Right. So if you're used to using that and you jump on this, you, you should know the coverage rate. Now we have two different kinds of PVC. We have standard, we have key, correct? Right. So temperature restrictions. What is the temperature on this for our, our standard PVC? 20 degrees. 20 degrees and rising. Right. Which is a big advantage. And oh my gosh, yes. So what about our key sheet? Is there anything you need to be worried about on that? 40 degrees. 40 degrees rising. So right. You need to know the sheet you're putting down. Yeah. For the adhesive. And just like all these, you need, you know, some of these are what you like to say sheet specific. Correct? Right. For coverage rates. Right. What do we have here? That's quick lay. Our quick lay. Right. Quick lay is our five square. Coverage rate. Coverage rate. Water based for standard sheet only. So we cannot use this on key. Cannot use that on key. That's probably a very important point that somebody yeah. needs to know. They do. It goes on the substrate. So you just put it on substrate. You right. don't have to put it on. Now, can I use this with fleece? No. This Stand. is smooth only. Okay. And the temperature restriction is 40, 40 and rising. It's low VOC and low odor. Is there a difference low VOC and low odor? Well, low odor, you can use it on occupied buildings, yeah. schools, hospitals, nursing homes, things like that. Something where people are going to smell, get sensitive to whatever you're using on rough gets into the intake. Sensitive to, yeah. So what do we have in this container here? That is our PVC solvent based. So it's solvent based. Correct. So we have water base, no, we have solvent base. Right. Three squares coverage. 40 degrees and rising, and of course, this goes on smooth back. So, for both. Again, we're talking about 40 degrees and rising. I think we need to really stress this. That means it's not 40 degrees at noon or two in the afternoon. That's when you start that morning. When it's six o'clock, that means 40 degrees and rising. And that means on everything. Everything, substrate. Because yeah. as are this stuff, your material's not getting stored inside, it's gonna be on the roof. So, all mm -hmm. this stuff has to be the temperature. Right. So what do we have out here? We have low-rise foam. So what we have our low-rise foams. The thing about the low-rise foam is it's the same on TPO and PVC. So you can use it for either or. Either or. Now, that is our XF. XF is, well, but actually both of them are 24 to 25 square coverage. XF is 32 in rising. Okay. Holly Bond's 40 in rising. 40 in rising. Yeah. So can I use it on smooth PVC? No, you cannot. Only fleece bed. Right. And you would do probably a spatter pattern versus beads. Sure. You know, we're talking about these coverage rates. These are going to vary depending on what you're going over, depending on the app the applicator, right? So these are the, the coverage rates are general guidelines. So right. When you decide what you want to do, the sheet that you want to use, you really need to check the specifications. Yeah. So in conclusion, Dave. Yes. We went over these adhesives. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the traditional bucket and roller right which everybody is probably out there has done yeah the three uh, square three square per right. and now we have other options it's going to be as a contractor get you off that job quicker which means more jobs at the end of the year we've come up with the the quick sprays our, our quick lay mm -hmm. again faster less labor intensive mm -hmm. again it's it's more advantageous not the contractor but the building owner absolutely low odor i mean gosh nice 